Terry here, D Lab. Today we have a special video. I had a guy email me and said, Hey, you're doing those neat frequency response checks of amplifiers. How about a preamplifier check? He said, Compare that 12AX7 to the 6SL7. So I'm going to do that. I've got the Bogan amp back here, and as you know, it can run either tube. So first, we'll do it with the Saab Tech 12AX7. Then, we'll hook up the old Sylvania 6SL7 and do a comparison of the frequency response. Here we go. So here's the test setup. The converted Bogan amp 5Y3 normally has a 6L6, but that's been removed. We've got the 12AX7. Got the old analyzer in the background. It's killed lights. Let's go. Shop lights are killed. Start the old sweep. Let's take a look. There you go. One hertz to 30k, people. Dunsky. You can see she came right up. Kind of lost gain as she went across to 30k. But did a great job. Let's check out the 6SL7 next. Shop lights back on. The Sobtech's out. The Sylvania's in. Let's do a sweep. Kill the lights. There's the old 6SL7 warmed up, ready to go. Let's do a sweep. Bam! Here we go. Lights are flashing. Let's we'll zoom in. Same deal. 1 hertz to 30k. Measurement complete. Well, I don't know about you, but I really saw no difference between those frequency sweeps of the 12AX7 versus the 6SL7 tube. Now, as you know, the 12AX7 was the 9-pin miniature replacement for that tube. So it looks like they got it right. Hope you enjoyed the video.